What is up everybody? Had to be done with another Elden Ring video. We're having a look at the Valiant Gargoyles today and it's been a pain. I have to be honest, it probably took me about two hours. It's like the man eater from Demon's Souls, but with a lot more pain and a lot less fun. But I suffered a lot through it, so hopefully you won't have to. Uh, if you watch this video and go through my learns, the first thing is don't be stingy. Just use all of your buffs. You see me going through my inventory right here. I'm going to go for everything I can think of. I put some magic grease on my weapon. I got a rune arc on everything to make me as strong as I can. Can. It's very similar to the Man Eater, as I've said. Um, you start fighting one of them, and when it's down to about 50%, its little twin brother will join. Uh, but one thing at a time. I am going with a curved great sword, the one that you get from Dariville, uh, and I'm going for the big hits here. I'm trying to always hit after a dodge, and I am respecting the gargoyle as it has the ability to kill you in about three seconds. You'll learn its moveset, and most of its attacks only allow for one strike afterwards, so don't be too greedy. You see here, when I get to 50%, I do try to get as much of its health off as I can because I can already see the other gargoyle at the back. Each of them has two weapons and each weapon has a special like an Ash of War like you see the beam here. For that one you just want to go to the left as it curves towards your right and we're still focusing on the first one. We want to get him done before we even start really paying attention to the second one. You see me try to keep my health at full uh, because some of its heavy hits can take about 75% of my health here and whenever I see this poison pool even more in the second phase I just run. If you go behind him the range is a lot smaller uh, but you do have to be careful I, I do find the range there to be quite excessive. Every now and again you might find yourself in the same situation as I am here where I'm just kind of waiting for better positioning. I will not engage with a second gargoyle until the first one is dead. This rock here is the only rock on the map that you can use for cover and you can use to try and isolate one of them and get the other one stuck for a little bit. These big flying attacks give you a big opening. Uh, it's a lot of damage if you get hit, but they're so telegraphed that you'll be grateful when you see it after having fought him a few times. You see now, I'm probably about one hit away from killing this one, so I'm just going to chase it down. Dodge the Ash of War, get my health up, and just run to it. Respect the poison, as I see that I'm just gonna make a big big circling around and then I'll start trying to close in. I know I'm only one hit away, two dodges as it goes back and that's one of them done. The second one is much much easier as his attacks are a lot slower and give you enough time to react. Uh, as you can see here when it's doing this sort of howl that's just a buff on itself so you can get a few hits in and whenever I get a dodge I go for one slash. I'm telling you, you will die a few times here and it's okay, it's just a way for you to learn its moveset. Uh, the twin blades are not too much to worry about as it pretty much only uses one and as I said it's a, a quite a, a telegraphed boss and if you play it as if you were playing Bloodborne and try to stay really close and kind of behind it, it should be fairly safe. Remember that for the poison, you do not want to dodge, you want to run and uh, towards kind of uh, its back whenever possible. Wait for the big hits and get a few of your own in. Uh, and that is pretty much it. So for the Valiant Gargoyles, first of all, be ready to die a bunch of times dodge and then attack respect how strong this boss is focus on the first one and only once that's that engage with the second one and hopefully that should be you done and if you enjoyed subscribe 
and I'll see you on my next upload.